Well, um, here we go. Um, five and a half years later. Um, funny, don't know why I'm recording this video out of the blue. It's a Monday night in Seoul. Um, I started watching my old YouTube channels, didn't I? And um, stumbled across a video I made five and a half years ago about my uh, first few months in Seoul, first two months in Korea. And uh, a young, fresh-faced Michael there talking like he knew what everything and everything about Seoul, everything and everything about Korea. Didn't have an absolute bloody clue, did I? Honest to God, I'm, I'm keep looking over that way because I've got the video in the background on mute. A young, skinny, <laughs> not muscular, uh, not doesn't have an absolute clue what's going on. Um, so why not just give another update on what's going on, really? Um, five and a half years now it's been. Uh, I remember saying to myself, one year, one year, one year, got to August, might stay, got to September, might stay. Um, that was back in 2017. I've moved in end of June, July, got to August, September. I was like, I might stay another year. And uh, been here for five and a half years now. I've moved two times. I'm now closer into the city centre. Um, yeah. Uh, looking at the video, some of the things I still agree with what I said. There's some of the things I'm just like, complete idiot. You didn't have a clue what was going on. Um, First of all, the, the the subway thing, I still completely agree with that. Why are you not 24 hours, lads? Come on. I mean, I'll pay more just to be having it open 24 hours. I'll pay a premium rate for it to be over 12 o'clock. Come on, lads, sort it out. It's a population of 25 million people here in Seoul and Gyeonggi-do. Come on, sort it out. Um, God, I was talking about the North Korean crisis as well of 2017. Bloody hell, I'm talking about contacting embassies and all that. Fucking hell. No one's talking about it. Do you know what I mean? It comes in the news, it goes in the news, this, that, and the other. Bloody hell, do you know what I mean? No one's talking about it in South Korea, honestly. Um, that lad had rose tinted glasses on in that video, honestly. He thought the world was ahead of him in South Korea. Um, if he knew then what he knew now, he might have turned around, jumped on an airplane back to Incheon Airport, and uh, arrived in Manchester the next day. But no, I, I'm not gonna. This is not a negative shout video. Obviously, there's been a lot of stress in in Korea because of COVID. There's been a lot of unhappy times here because of COVID. I've missed a lot of important things with my family. I've missed a lot of important things with myself. Which I mean, I'm 28, going on to 29 now this year. I moved here as a fresh faced 23 year old. You know what I mean? It's not the fact I'm getting on, but you know what I mean? I spent most of my 20s in South Korea. Um, and that's something I won't be able to take back. So look at it as it is. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. However, uh, I digress. You know, the opportunities I've had here, obviously the football writing, which has given me the opportunity to go and visit almost, not almost, sorry, every province in Korea. Um, I've been to over 100 Soliland games. I've been in a commercial. Uh, I've been on countless podcasts. I've wrote countless articles. Um, that's, that's obviously definitely a positive and a bonus. Um, being living in South Korea, um, it's easy for me to go to the Philippines. It's easy for me to go to Vietnam. It's easy for me to go to Japan. It's easy for me to go to Taiwan. Um, as we speak, it's a Monday evening. Um, I'm off to the Philippines for the third time on Friday because it's my favourite country on this planet because I absolutely think it's a beautiful place. Um, this is something I can't just jump to. If I was living in the United Kingdom, obviously I can jump to Germany, I can jump to Spain, I can jump to Italy if I wanted to, but like I could jump on a four hour plane from Incheon Airport and I arrive in the Philippines and I'm just taken away to a different world, a different culture. And um, that's brilliant for me. I, I love traveling and this has really opened my eyes um, to travel more. Um, yeah, COVID hit and we were a bit stuck what we were going to do. Do you know, things open, things didn't close, you know what I mean? Um, I kind of wish I went back in 2020, Michael, and smacked him in the face and just like, you know, like calm down a little bit. You know what I mean? I think looking back on some of these videos, I kind of uh, played into the whole COVID thing. Like, oh my gosh, we need to be careful, mask up, uh, vaccine and all this. Um, we need to get over it now, don't we? It's, 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 it's a bit of a joke, isn't it, that people are still talking about it three years later. Um but, you know, I digress. It's not a COVID video, this obviously not at all. But that kind of taught me a lot. Um, I learned, I didn't learn, I, I started mountain climbing because of that, because there's nothing else to do in Seoul. And that's another great pleasure that I got in this country for doing that. Um, and I keep looking that way, because I keep looking at the thumbnail of myself, that young 23-year-old, like my face is completely like, honestly, like I look skinny. I look like a 10-pound piece of piss. Um, it... 
yeah crazy and looking at the video and the next video and next to it i just used to spend me friday nights just sat in the apartment just drinking beer and making videos about myself do you know what i mean there's so many i made and never posted i know you can say well you're sat here on a monday night doing the same thing but you know my life's busy now my life's busy now do you know what i mean as i say this Friday, I'm off to the Philippines for a couple of days, and I'll be back to Man uh, Manchester, gosh. I was in Manchester a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'll be back in Seoul by Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, and then, like, I'm spending weekends doing stuff, you know what I mean? Like, one weekend I'm in Busan, one weekend I'm in Taejeon, one weekend I'm in Gangwon because of the football. Um, there's always something going on, you know what I mean? I've got a good connection of friends now, you know. And don't get me wrong, it's not always been plain sailing, as I said earlier. There's been a lot of things, especially last year, that went tits up to be completely honest with you so um i feel like i'm back on my feet I feel like i'm back on my feet how long i'm gonna spend in korea now i don't know for the first time since being here i kind of think i got to about october november last year it kind of first felt like there was an expiry date where i never really felt like that before uh the plan is to take a few months off this year um and travel the world I want to go to Canada, I want to go to America, I want to spend three, four weeks in the Philippines, I want to spend three, four weeks in Thailand. It's a place that's eluded me at the moment. I don't understand how I've not been there, I don't understand why I can't get there, um, but it's a place I'm going to go. Uh, then to Manchester, I want to spend more than a week home. Uh, I've never spent more than a week in Manchester in the last five and a half years, so to spend more than a week in Manchester is something I actually need to do. I need to get to Ireland um, as well. So got the finances got the funding there to do it do you know what I mean there's nothing stopping me doing that it's just literally stop working for about six months and just go and enjoy myself because I feel like I, I forgot what I came to Korea for I came to Korea for an experience for a year's experience to teaching a year's experience of exploring the world and don't get me wrong I'm exploring the world and exploring places I would have never explored if I never came here but you know like I don't want to be another five and a half years time. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm still in the old teaching game. You know what I mean? I've got my holiday here sorted. I've got my holiday here sorted. Like, I need a little bit more to show now. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens in the next year, 18 months, two years now, because I think this this time off, I'm trying to take time off in July onwards. If I get that time off, no, I will get that time off. When I have that time off, it will really see what will happen because i won't leave korea when i stop working i'll still be using korea as a base this apartment i'm in this is my apartment and um, i pay rent on this apartment no one owns this well, obviously my landlord obviously owns it but uh, in korea a lot of schools own the apartments my school doesn't own my apartment i own my apartment so to use this place as a base go on a job seekers visa obviously i will be looking for jobs at the same time but i'm planning to take five to six months off just to Enjoy the world and enjoy Seoul because I've worked in Seoul for five and a half years. I've never lived in Seoul for half, five and a half years. I've never been a tourist in Seoul for more than a week. So that is something I want to really do. You know what I mean? Just take a Darungi, which is the Seoul bike, and just go around Korea. You know what I mean? Uh, go around Korea on a bike. No, go around Seoul on a bike. Um, One quick thing I want to talk about that I didn't talk about in that last video there. Um, COVID kind of really got me learning my Korean. My Korean's not great, but I can get by on it. Um, applications here as well are all in Korean, so I've translated a lot of Korean uh, apps, like your Payco, your Toss, your Kakao, obviously, as well. Well, that's all in English now these days. Um, I feel more and more part of the ingrained into the society, so simply because people ask me for help all the time. They're like, Michael, can you book tickets for me or this? Michael, can you do this for me? Because I'm just used to doing it now because I've been here for so long. Um, yeah, my advice if you're coming to Korea, just try and integrate yourself into the society as quick as possibly. A lot of things is fucking bullshit here, honestly. Don't get me wrong, but you've just got to... Sometimes you've got to have a stiff upper lip and just go, right, okay, it is what it is. You know what I mean? And you, as long as you recognise it yourself that it's an issue, then just you know, keep going with your own thing and then just try and avoid that thing as best as possible. But, you know, like, I'm rambling on a little bit now and I'll, I will end the video. But it's just... I wanted to shoot a video because looking at fresh faced kid five and a half years ago he didn't have a clue no see i look haggard i look tired now i've been working today do you know what i mean but jesus if he knew then what i knew now honestly i think he would have been scared to be honest i think as i said he might have turned around and gone home but 
Um, no midnight runs yet on the cards for me, but um, the final thing is, I, I as I said, I, I don't know how much longer I've got here. It's, it's uh, when's the next challenge? But anyway, I'll let you go, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.